Oh, I'm not sure on the feel of that. Much better that, isn't it? It's all going to be th three similar results, but there's there's one that I would rule out straight away. I like that. So in today's video, we have got three clubs, all with the number three of them. And in my opinion, three very different clubs. And if you choose the wrong one, you could be making a huge mistake. So right now, TaylorMade have a huge number of options in terms of fairway woods. And in fact, we're going to look at three very different three woods. One is the HD model, one is the standard model, and one is the super fast, better player titanium model. And I think the only thing that these clubs have in common is the fact that they've got that number three stamped on them. And as I've said, there is very much a better player club within that lineup. So I've invited head pro here at Hollywell Golf Club, Lewis Johnson, along. And this one, mate, is certainly in your sort of, well, potential sphere in terms of uh, yeah, this ability. Is the one I'm, this is the one I'm looking forward to hitting. Yeah. You're quite interested in this. So just to, as a recap, this is the titanium in the plus lineup, movable weight, loads of adjustability in terms of loft, but that sort of weight sleeve front to back. Yeah. It's set up as standard at the moment with weight forward. So that's the kind of low spinning. Yeah, yeah it's the one that you go, well, you should be all right with that. The better yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit plenty of shots with each of them. We'll then with that model in particular, shift that sliding weight backwards as well and just see what kind of impact it has. So what I'm expecting to see with all three of these models is maybe different ball fights, different kind of spin, different yep. overall carry. Brilliant. We'll start with that, eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf and, of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Nice ball. Big turn on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of wind, but... There's nothing, there's nothing about that, that when, it, when I'm hitting it that I like. <laughs> it's dead hard for me to say that as well. That's after two shots. Yeah, so yeah. So let's but... start off with, first of all, let me overlay the first shot that you're looking at. Explain to me what happened on the first tee and what your thoughts are. And what is it, because you mentioned straight <clears> away, wasn't yeah. keen on it. Yeah, I love the look. I like the fact it's got a deeper face. It sits lovely. Yeah. It's got all the adjustability I want. From so what are you not making? When I hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about it. Sound? Sound, how it feels. I don't know whether I've... I don't, I'm not getting good feedback from it at all. I don't, I don't feel as though I'm getting a huge... You can get a bit of an idea, can't you, off, like, ball speed, can't yeah, you? Yeah. Without any data, you're like, oh, that's gone. Well, well why don't we go switch up into the standard model? Let's hit a, <laughs> let's hit, let's hit a ball straight away and see how much change-up there yeah. is. First of all, in terms of, well, your immediate response, but also where that ball goes to. Yeah, yeah. Head shape, first of all. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. But... I like it. Oh, that's nice, eh? So how does that feel, first of all, off the face compared to the titanium? Yeah, much better. Does it? Yeah. Straight away. It, yeah, just ni nice air feels though it's coming off. Just just normal. Yeah, yeah. Just, just what you'd expect. So do um, you think that weighting system in the back of the titanium head, do you think that's impacting because the only real difference I suppose is Yeah, that and I weight. think I think what I would stress is some people might like that. Yeah. It's there's clearly a massive difference in yeah. how they're designed, the materials they're made of, where the weight is and stuff. But for me, God, I was really looking forward to that one. Yeah. And and actually it's not it's not even well the, the interesting thing is i always the, that weight is tungsten and it's 50 gram it's not it's you know it's not a small amount it's 50 yeah, yeah, grams yeah. worth of tungsten my feeling is whenever tungsten is introduced to any club it gets a little bit harder uh, off the sound and i tend yeah. to agree i'm gonna hit a few shots with it myself when we slide that weight back i don't think it's as impactful on the face as what it is when the weight's forward. So we might as well stay on the same tee and let's go straight into the HD model. Yeah. So different profile completely. <coughs> head, head design is, I wouldn't say my least favorite. Yeah. 
I just say it's different. It's isn't significantly it? different than the it's, other two. It's shallower and yeah. it's elongated. Yeah. Um, a lot flatter face. Can we say uh, it's more like? Can we say it's more like a ping? Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely. I've had it in a head-to-head -head against the um, SFT, and they're both very yeah. similar in shape. To the and what SFT. Did you, and what do you think of these? I'm we, a big fan because you know this way it's going to differ. Don't forget, we've got the better player because you're going to want different things. For yeah. me, in a fairway wood, I, I want the ball flight. I want the higher launching ball. Yeah. Oh my yeah, word. Yeah, similar to there. <laughs> it's similar in feel and sound and stuff to the normal, but yeah. that launch, it just goes straight up. Is it goes straight 16? up, but you know what? It I is 16, but I mean. It, it, there's one degree more of loft than the standard. But still, it's, I probably got 20 foot peak height there. But if you, if you go compared to like where I'm looking at, distance wise, because we're playing downwind, I think that could have been the longer out the three, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll go, I think, we'll go and I have think, a look and see if that's the case, but where I'm looking at, it was a huge carry because you've got the higher launching ball. It's not exactly super high spinning, so it's still downwind, but obviously if you turn that round, yeah, yeah. that would change significantly. Yeah, but you expect that from that head shape. And, yeah, and exactly. I say, but the one thing that I'm really sort of interested in is that, that lower one. That, well, that what we're going to do now, we're gonna, we'll, we'll switch up to the other team, we'll come the opposite way, so we'll be playing into the wind, we'll change the weight to the very back in terms of the titanium and then we'll see what the results are. Yeah. But first of all, let's go and see where then three have landed and how much they're perhaps separated in terms of distance. So back up into the wind, we're literally going in straight up the fairway that we've just played. Uh, we're gonna move that weight, the first ball we're gonna hit, we're gonna move the weight right to the very back. So that's the first club we're gonna hit. Just have a look at this now in terms of where those balls finished was a real interesting bit. There was barely a yard that separated yeah, them, yeah. was there? And, and it's amazing because the flights were completely different. Oh, completely they? got yeah, there yeah. very different. I'm expecting that depending on um, just how well you hit that now, I think that'll be the longest going into the wind and I'm expecting that higher launching HD model to perhaps struggle now and this is where you see the opposites. But you go with that first of all Let's and see how that goes. Oh, that's, a, that's a real good dig with that. That's, That's interesting for me because, like I said, first of all, we've seen a higher ball flight from the weight being <laughs> from back. the weight being back, yeah. That was almost like chalk and cheese from the yeah, first yeah. shot you hit. So the interesting thing for me when I did the initial review of this, just how much you can alter a club in Amazing, terms of that. weight and loft has never been more visible than in no, this thing, no, no. to be honest with you. I didn't realise that weight was so heavy either. Yeah. I think if people look into it a little bit more, you know, weights, weights that move on the back of clubs are not normally no. like that. Um, I preferred that, actually. Yeah. Well, you didn't know it wasn't a hard thud either. So no, the no, no. Off the face seemed to make a difference to the yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah, and and no, you know a noticeable difference. Yeah. You, know, you can't really put it across enough, but I don't mind that. No. That was okay. What Lou just said as well. So when you talk about a sliding weight adjustment in the back of, like, say, the ping driver, I think that's about 25. I think it might be 26 gram. That's 50 grams. So it is significant. Yeah. And it's seen there. Right. Hit another couple with the others. So that's now similar to the titanium, isn't it? Yeah, well, the interesting thing is, I didn't know what club you had in hand there, but I know from the ball flight that that has got to be it's the not, standard. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not the HD, that is it. That's interesting. So we made that play a little bit more. I have to say, you know, I still would prefer this in terms yeah. of um, how I, the, the feedback I'm getting in terms of sound and feel yeah, yeah. still, even though we've, I, I feel as though I've made that closer to what I like, um, I do like that one. Yeah. Uh, the, the standard is... is well, let, let me see. Now my, now my theory is put to the test. What happens when you hit this HD high and into the wind? Knowing what we know now, I don't actually want to hit this. Into the wind, this is the yeah, wrong... Exactly. This, is, this and, is probably the wrong club, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A, first of all, it's a really good strike. Ball flight, like you said, is probably just the same yeah. as again. You can see where it's bounced. I know actually. that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. that. So what Lou's referencing there is, we can see where that ball has come down, whereas the other balls carried over the rise. That suggests that it's short and maybe hovered a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And you would on that height, and we kind of knew, but um, I, I, I certainly the, the the concept of the HD is something that's really um, I, I really think people should should 
look into, especially in you know three wood, five wood, seven wood options. Yeah. What it's doing to my ball flight, I just didn't think yeah. it would have that much effect. Well, it, you know, again, and the point being, brands are often criticised with the, there's that many different models on the market right now in, in every genre. But I think, like as a golfer, you're better off embracing it because there's three products here that are massively different. Yeah. And you've got, you know, well, we've seen already. For me, for example, I'd adjust if I if I'm purchasing a three wood or swapping my three wood, I, I would just go. Well, I'll just go for the titanium because that's yeah, the one that's for me. What you think, and yeah. clearly, that's better for me because it's made of titanium. It's yeah, got yeah. more adjustability. Is that'd be the one that I would that, probably least at this point. I'd probably least like. I'd certainly yeah, yeah. out the three. That would be the one that I wouldn't put in the bag. Whereas these two. I would because I like them, and but they do different things for me. Absolutely. Whereas the, the, that one, I'm not too keen on, even though we've moved it back. I, I know. It's, I want to be positive, but <laughs> just, I just don't, don't like it. I just don't like it. It's it's great for someone, just not me. Joe, you know I don't think there's any more we can do, really. Lou, I've just hit a couple of shots myself off that same tee position. Um, yeah. The first ball you see me use is the titanium, which uh, again really low ball flight. I've struggled with it to be honest with you. I played a full round yesterday and I put it in the bag. I only use it a couple of times because, again, I just don't generate enough club head speed with it, even with the weight back, and that ball flight's too low for me. It's uh, interesting, though, because you've never really... You don't say that about any other club. Like, your club head speed's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. You feel as though that you're not... I, th I think it's just, again, with, with three woods in particular, I find them not a very versatile club to have in the bag. Yeah. And the only reason I'd entertain it was the second club I hit was the HD model. And yeah. although my back foot slip, uh, you'll see the ball flight is just so, so different. But then when you get down the fairway, the titanium ball was, I think I measured out 12 yards longer. So you could argue the titanium is, it's, a, it's longer. In my case it was anyway, but I would start, and don't forget that's into the wind. Very yeah. briefly then back into your three shots, we've got two in the middle of the fairway which yeah. landed on top of one of each other, which were they? Um, so the, the HD and the titanium, but I think the, the, the sort which of... Which was a surprise. About, yeah, the kind of, we thought the HD would, wouldn't perform great into would the wind, it. but the important thing for me, we'd, we'd got the titanium to perform better, didn't we? With that yeah, we moved the weight back. back, it felt a little bit better, so you know, not all things terrible with it, but the fact that all three of them balls were pretty much similar distance, weren't they? There wasn't a lot. I mean, the, a, the standard was a little bit longer. It was a couple of yards, life. wasn't it? So, um, but still, you know, even when we got the performance better, it would still be the one that I'd maybe, yeah. you know, sort so of So I think in both enjoyed. cases, less preferable. But again, it really, I suppose, depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. The main emphasis of this video was to sort of demonstrate that uh, I think it's a lot now, whatever you're trying, whether it be an iron, a hybrid, a fairway wood, or drivers for that matter, yeah. loft is only one part of the equation. And like everyone gets drawn into seeing a number of stamped on a club and assuming yeah. they're all the same. I think the advancements in technology in golf clubs lately is the fact that they've got clubs to do things differently. Yeah, yeah. In terms more, of more in fairway woods and hybrids than ever, isn't it? It's I almost like so. the driver technology is kind of Exhausted. filtering down. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, they're sort of making them, the, the, the fairway woods and hybrids are now more varied. Yeah. More, you know, I'd be more inclined to get, get people to go and try every model. Yeah. You know, get the better players to drive the HD and not just I go know. with that one. Uh, that, that would probably be the feedback. Well, that's me. again the thing I would say is. A, in the last few years, well, it's been forever, I suppose, clubs are categorised via player, aren't they? They yeah. call them a player's iron or a, a super game improvement yeah. iron. I think that's a load of nonsense. If, that, if you looked at that, that HD model, better players wouldn't go near it because they'd assume they're too good for it. Yeah. I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah. Right, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks as ever to Lou. Bit of breeze up here, which was good today. Exactly what we needed for that kind of testing. Hollywell Golf Club in Great Nick. And uh, you've only got a jumper on, mate. Your, uh, your, your yeah, hands in pockets, so haven't I? <laughs> less, less than me. We're going in for a warm, and I will crack on with another video that includes Lou, which is, uh, well, it's in that better player iron category. Should be interesting. Right, see you all tomorrow night.